Today we're going to be cheating in one of my favorite games of all time, Terraria. Okay, so first things first, we're going to open Cheat Engine and we're going to attach Cheat Engine to Terraria. The first cheat I want to show you is the item cheat where we're just going to give ourselves infinity of whatever item we want. In this case, I like to give myself infinite chlorophyte bullets. Basically, you just have a gun that shoots and you never have to worry about ammo. So the first thing we're going to do is scan for 638, which is the value of my chlorophyte bullets. 638. First scan. I'll pull out my gun and shoot it a whole bunch. And now I have 634. So we're just going to search for 634 as our next scan. We have one value here. So that looks like it's our chlorophyte bullet. So I could just set that to 999, changes the value to 999, or I can freeze it and I'll never consume any of my ammo. So it shoots forever. So we can do this with our coins as well. Even if you have just a couple of copper coins, you can work your way up to platinum and then just give yourself infinite platinum. So we have 83 copper coins. We're going to scan for the value of 83. We're going to drop a couple of them and then scan for 79. We'll pick them back up and now we have 83 we have these two addresses that represent our coins we're just going to change one of them and see if it works that one didn't we'll change the other one 999 okay and now we have 999 copper coins which it doesn't really allow you're only allowed to hold 100 before it converts to uh silver so we're just gonna take one and put it down and then we're gonna try to stack the rest onto it and that just fills it up. And we'll do that one more time. We'll take one coin and stack it. And then we'll just drop these 100 coins and we'll pick them up and it will auto convert to silver coins. Do that a few more times to give yourself something like three or four silver coins. And we're gonna ditch this bugged stack of copper coins. And we can see these addresses here, they have a four and it's working for the same slots. So this address is responsible for this slot. We don't have to scan for it again. We'll just set it to 999. And just like we did with the copper coins, we're gonna create stacks, drop them and pick them up. So that we have three gold coins and now we'll ditch our bugged stack. And we'll now try to change this three into 999. And same thing. We're just gonna make some stacks for that. We pick up our platinum, put the bugged gold in the trash, and now we can change our platinum value to 999. And just like that, we've gone from copper to silver to gold to platinum. And I think platinum doesn't have a hard cap of 999. I think it could actually go higher. So now what you can do with all that money is just open up one of your portable piggy banks and you can put your 999 platinum coins in the piggy bank and that will just basically give you infinite money at any vendor. So the next thing we want to do is change our time value in the game because time in Terraria is such a crucial component in this game. If we can control time, there's a lot of cool things we can do with that. So to find the time address, we're going to do value type double and we're going to search for unknown initial value we're going to do a first scan and that's going to give us 339 million results. And we're going to set the next scan to be increased value. And we're going to let a little bit of time pass in the game. We're going to scan for an increased value. We're going to let some more time pass, scan for an increase. And we're just going to repeat doing that until our results list is much smaller to work with. One thing you can do while you have Cheat Engine open and the game is paused, you can scan for a unchanged value. That means while the game is paused, our time has not changed. We can filter out a bunch of values that are obviously wrong. Click next scan. And we should get down to somewhere like one to 2000 values left. And now we can go down this list and we're gonna find something like this five digit number that doesn't have any decimal points. And we'll just double click it to add it to our address list. And we'll check the rest of the list to see if there's anything else like that. So this five digit number that's stored as a double, this is our value of time in the game. If I set the time to 50,000, you can see in game it updates to 9.23 AM. 
If I do 100,000, it sets it to 11.16 p.m. Now let's talk about infinite health, infinite mana, god mode. So we can see here our health is 462. So we're going to scan for value type, 4 bytes, exact value, 462, and click first scan. I'm going to lose some health. And now we have 395. So we're going to search for 395 and click next scan. And here's our health value. So we'll just change this to 500 and now we have full health again. We can freeze that value. And now we're going to stay at full health. So we can do the same thing with our mana. We can see here we have 200 mana. So we're just going to scan for a value of 200. We're going to use some mana. And now we have 170 mana. Click next scan. And here's our value for mana. And we'll set this to 200. And now we see it worked. We now have 200 mana. We're going to freeze that as well. And now anytime we use our mana, it doesn't consume it. Okay, so now that we have this HP cheat, this isn't really a god mode. This is just taking our health back to full every time we get hit. If we were to take more than 500 damage at once, this could be an explosion or a boulder, we would still die. We would lose more than 500 health and it would trigger the death code. Um, so what we have to do is just prevent taking damage altogether. So to do that, we're gonna click on our address for our HP. We're gonna right click on it and we're gonna find what writes to this address. This will open a debugger. It looks like this window, and this is gonna fill up with code that runs anytime we take damage. So let's go take some damage. So we got hit four times, and every time we got hit, this piece of code runs. So we can just assume that this is the code that tells us to take damage. And what we can do is take this code and save it in our address list here and we can toggle this code on and off and that will be our god mode so we're going to click on the code click show disassembler click tools auto assemble template aob injection click ok ok file assign to current cheat table and that's going to put it right here we can just double click it and call it God mode. So we'll close all these windows that we had to open to do this. So now what we're going to do is double click here where it says script and the code here that says sub and then edx, eax might be different for you, but we're going to get rid of this whole line and we're just going to replace it with nop, which means no operation. That basically says when we take damage, do nothing. So then we Turn that script on, and that gives us our god mode. So if you look at the health here, you could see it's no longer flickering. We're not losing health, and then cheat engine resets it. We're just not taking damage, period. So we can also do this to increase the damage we deal to monsters. So to do that, first we need to find one of the monster's HP. So here, this skeleton archer has 210 health. We're going to scan for 210. Then we're going to hit him a few times with a godly wooden sword. And now his health is 203. So we scan for 203. Only one address is left. This should be him. Then we're going to right click on it and choose find out what writes to this address. And now if we hit him even once, there should be a piece of code here that tells the game how much damage he takes. So let's hit him once. So we can see here the code that comes up. It says sub something something. This is the code for getting rid of his health. So click show disassembler, tools, auto assemble, template, AOB injection. Okay, okay. File, assign to current cheat table. So we can close this and this and this. And we'll just call this damage hack. So now we're gonna double click the script section. So this code here, it tells us to subtract whatever this number is from the monster's health, which is this. So what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna replace sub with move and whatever this number is, which is our damage, we're gonna make this a zero. So now we're moving the value of zero to the monster's health, draining their health every time we hit them. 
click OK, enable the damage hack, and now every time we hit a monster, they're dead in one hit. So when you create your cheats with this scripting method, you can go to File and Save, and that's gonna save these cheats. And every time you load up Terraria and load up Cheat Engine, it will load those cheats in for you. You don't have to go finding them every time. If you are finding cheats using the scanning method and pulling addresses from Cheat Engine, then you're gonna have to find the pointers for those addresses. And I'll leave a link in the description for how to make pointers for your addresses. So I hope this video helped you get some easy cheats in Terraria. Remember to press the like button if this video helped you and subscribe to support the channel and to see more videos like this one.